Hello all. So in this tutorial, we are going to model a sofa in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I have taken a reference of this sofa over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is for creation of the sofa. I'll go into this spline and I'll take a circle over here. After taking a circle, let's go into the rectangle and just take a rectangle over here just push it over here in this way after that select this both right click convert to editable spline select this and attach it go into this segment or spline and you have an option over here that's called boolean and merge it so once you merge this stuff you can just select this go into the vertices and if you want to rotate it, you can easily rotate this over here. Go into this modifier and give a extrude modifier over here. Just push that out. Push this up over here. So we'll go into this front view or top view over here let's take a box over here after taking a box we can just push this box up over here in this way and convert to editable poly again over here and let's add some loops over here so let's use a connect option over here go into the vertices select this and just push this up select this and just push this down so you can just push this down push this up Alright, so save your file over here as so far. So select this over here. And you can just add a swift loop over here select the edges just select the edges and you have a chamfer option you can just chamfer a bit that's it all right so select this stuff over here and you can just mirror it make a copy of it and just push this over here that's it so once you're done over here so now we are going to create this so let's go into this and take a chamfer box right on the top view so please take a chamfer box over here so after taking a chamfer box let's push this chamfer box on top of it scale it over here you can squeeze it let's add some loops over here and let's just add a 
FFD box over here. So FFD box is a free form deformer. So let's select this all over here and let's just push this up in this way. That's it. So you want to make any changes, you can go with the changes, not a problem. Or you can just keep this over here and make one more copy of it. So select this and just scale it. Alright. So once you're done, you can just push it over here in this way. No problem. You can keep some space over here. So save your file. Again take a box over here. You can take a box over here. Just increase its size and we can just increase this segments over here. So convert to editable poly and let's give a FFD box go into this so you can go into this control points you can just push this up you can just push this down and you can just push it in this way okay. so select this all over here excluding the back and you can just push this up and this axis no problem so convert to editable poly let's add some loops over here again add a FFD box over here control points select this control points and just just push this up a bit and if you want to push this out in this axis that can be done no problem So you can again go into this and select this, even you can just push this a bit out. That's it. No problem. And for this uh, legs part, if you zoom this. So we'll take a line over here, just take a line, okay, just make this way and let's give a modifier called lathe, make it max over here. into this vertices like this that's it so
so you can go into the vertices and you can just push this up and push this a bit small over here so once you're done you can just shift this down over here for the support over here that's it so let's go to the top view and let's just make a copy of it select this again shift and drag it and make a copy of it alright so once you're done you can just select this and you can just give a color save your file over here and for creation of a pillow we can just take a chamfer box so we can just go over here rotate this and give a FFD box select this and push it a bit out and just push that a bit out freeform deformer that's a FFD box so once you're done, you can just convert to editable poly, scale it, and you can go onto this view, and you have a free form shift. You can use this shift option over here to give it a look over here. So let's go into this and give a turbo smooth over here. That's it. FFD box again. Better. Much better. it all right okay so convert to editable poly so just give a color to it drag it up and mirror it in the x-axis and drag it over that's it so let's go into this and just draw a plane over here so if you want to just give a bit of chamfer to the edges so you can just convert to editable poly select this select the edges and give a bit of chamfer 
not much two is okay and isolate same thing can be done over here so convert to editable poly go into the edges and give a chamfer click ok and isolate it that's it so so that's your so far ready over here your couch so if you want that this should be much bigger you can just push it up not a problem mirror it keep this over here save your file alright so thanks for watching this tutorial